back for a second time. Yes, sir. Tell me about, tell me, tell me the relief you've, you've gotten from the first time. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode on the channel. Today we're going to Medellin, Colombia to go visit BioAccelerator to do some stem cells. We're currently in private suite, which is the private terminal, which then takes you in these nice BMWs all the way to the aircraft and you board through the stairs. You get to bypass everything and be extra private. Lots of great information coming, lots of cool stuff to see. Stay tuned, see you guys soon. made it to Betty Ian late last night. We're on our way to the clinic. We're gonna check it out. Stay tuned. You're back for a second time. Yes, sir. Tell me about, tell me, tell me the relief you've, you've gotten from the first time. So I've gotten about 50% overall pain reduction in my neck and low back. I'd say about 35% in the shoulders. Overall energy, I'd say has quadrupled. I used to be the guy that drags out of bed at 8.30 and then I'm awake by 10. I'm now out of bed at seven, wide awake, ready to go. Like huge energy boost. And I followed the guidelines, no caffeine. I quit caffeine completely quit alcohol, well, I never drank to begin with. I lost 65 pounds since I was here last year. So between everything they recommended and changing all that stuff in my life, I really feel like I've gained a lot and this is why I'm back here again to get that extra oomph to get to another level. So this is your ID number. 100 million Wharton jelly mesenchymal stem cells, 25,000 units of heparin for the IV therapy today's date. What's the heparin for? To thin the blood a little? Uh, no, to make the stem cells not to attach to the plastic because you know that's one of the main characteristics uh, to prevent them to attach to the plastic, basically. All okay? right. And the main characteristic is that for them to grow, they have to be attached on plastic. Got so it. That's why. Okay. All right. So how many stem cells do you think you've had in your body so far? To date, 210 million the last time, and I feel like this time, I'm gonna probably be leaving with what, 350 million? Probably. Because they're doing neck, back, shoulders, mm -hmm. hair, mm -hmm. penis. A lot. And this. Probably. So, yeah. They're gonna give you the total by the end of the... With the report and everything. Uh-huh, yes. Why do you come here and not get these procedures in the States? First off, the States version is like a much watered down version. It's probably one tenth of what we can get here. And just the experience is way better. It's Columbia, good food, good people, funny conversations. Got Joey behind the camera, amazing guy. What's there not to love about coming down here versus, you know, doing it in the States? You know, it's the same rhythm. Like, I'd rather get a mini vacation and experience all of this at the same time. It's all in me now, guys. Good to see you. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're welcome. So, welcome again. Ah, you're doing great. Yeah. Ah, wonderful. Yeah. Try to be like him. Yeah, you're doing great. Okay. So, how do you feel? You cut about 50% of the pain, shoulders 35%. Okay, that's okay. good. That's good. Okay. And I still have feeling in the toes since the procedure, so that's great. Oh, that's okay. good. Perfect. Day two, we're here in Medellin, Colombia, on our way for treatment. Another round. Uh, today, I believe, is the hyperbaric chamber, some more vitamins, and another 100 million stem cells. We got some more great content from inside of the clinic, and then we'll have some more content after the clinic with some cool people. See you guys soon. So how was the dinner last night? That was hilarious. And good food. Okay, Brian, stem cells are ready, okay? Okay. So, Brian Goldstein, this is your ID number. Welcome. 
How many are you getting today? Uh, 20 million. Nice big boost. What are we having done? Mm, today I'm gonna drain some blood to get the PRP ready for her face and her procedures. We're having done biosil in the face and in the hair. Okay, Michelle, these are your PRP. It's like our PRP, which is like 13 to 15 times more platelets than the other places, with uh, oligo elements, vitamins, minerals, and to create like a more um, strong. I can feel the difference. Yeah, that's the, definitely the most important for us. Now we can see a little Sorry. bit, exactly, a little bit of hydration. Of so this place. extra one you'll do Thursday will give us a little, like in another year. Yeah, we'll it see. will improve, exactly. Okay, well, you're good. good. More improvements. I oh, like okay. it. Thank you again. Okay. Well, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, of course. All right, guys, day three here in Medellin, Colombia. Got a lot of fun stuff planned today. We got my hair treatment. We have a penis enhancement treatment and we're treating my shoulders. Mr. Joey behind the camera, the real camera, because I'm not the best at vlogging, has all the amazing footage that'll be coming up after this. See you guys soon. So what is this for? For my intradisc stem cell therapy in my cervical spine and lumbar spine. So I guess you'll miss the part, guys, of them injecting my dick. And Joey doesn't want to see my dick, so you guys just get to see my hair. <laughs> yeah, bye. Okay. bye bye. My poor penis. But it'll be supercharged now, guys. Who doesn't want a supercharged penis? Ready? So you're injecting my blood back into me? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. All right, so they numb you up first, then it's three shots on each side. They leave a rubber band around the base for 30 minutes to 45 minutes just to keep all the stem cells up there, and you're good to go. It just Feels like pressure more than anything, nothing crazy, but overall, not a bad experience. Six syringes? Yeah. It's a lot. This is way more intense than. Dude, that's but, way worse. But I promise to you that I try to make the faster that I can. Gent. No, faster. <laughs> to What's next? We're doing the hair. Gotta keep it nice and fresh. And you've had this done once before. Yep. And I've done PRP in the States when they micro needle. Ooh. You haven't lived till they take a f tattoo gun to your head, basically. <laughs> Finish! How was it? Not oh, horrible. I'd say it's a 5 <laughs> out of 10. Thank you. I'm ready. Ready for this helicopter ride? No fui el primero, ni seré el último, pero sé que lo cosaré. I think we're about to get on that helicopter and do a little city tour. Yeah, it's, it's a massive 
All right, guys, day four here in Medellin, Colombia. Today's the intra-disc application of my C456 and L4, L5, S1. It'll all be on camera so you guys can really see what's going on. They'll have a camera guy inside the OR room. See you soon and stay tuned. de las 12 pegándote bien lento baby para que tú goces no somos algo serio pero bien si me conoces ya yeah, ya yeah. I'm ready to walk but someone won't let me so we just got out of surgery going back to the room feel great but the new protocol is they have to wheelchair you back to the room all right so my second time at bio accelerator here now uh, the first time, I believe you guys injected 200 million-ish uh, into my cervical spine, which I wasn't aware I herniated, and my lumbar spine, which I did know I herniated L4, L5, S1. Um, I thought I only had a problem with my right shoulder. You guys actually found out I had a tear with my left as well, which was causing pain. Uh, we ended up treating all of that. Overall energy increased by about 300% realistically. Before, like me waking up at 7 a.m. wasn't happening. Now I roll out of bed, no problem. And then the overall pain in the lumbar and C456, gotten about a 50% reduction in pain. Shoulders, I'd say 35 to 40, as those just move so much compared. And I'm here again to see if I can get another 25% out of it, so I'll only have a 25% remainder of pain. I got a chance to review my before and after MRIs, and the doctor was like a little hesitant at first. He's like, well, Brian, if you don't see a change, like, don't be worried. Normally, you don't see a change for a couple of years. I'm like, well, it's been a year. We should see something. We pop it up, and you see probably a 30 to 40% increase in my disc health overall. The shoulders, I'd probably say 20 to 25%, just because it's the shoulders. They're difficult. There's a lot of moving parts in there. But you see the disc coming back to life, going back from black to slowly getting into white again with more fluid inside of them. So I've had multiple accidents over my time. I've crashed motorcycles when I was younger. Um, my last accident, I went off a thousand foot cliff racing in Mexico. And I'm pretty sure that's what herniated C456 and probably messed up the left shoulder. Because the left shoulder, I've never taken any hits before that. Um, I was fortunate enough to walk away from the accident, but the pain still lived with me for a couple of years. And then finally, I came down here last year, uh, almost a year ago today in February. So I've referred a bunch of friends and family down here. I think I've sent 25, 30 people. And then I've had a bunch of, as we saw the other day, just random people reach out to me saying, hey, should I go? Is it worth it? And every person I've sent down has no regrets. And they're like, hey, I just can't wait to do it again. That my results have been amazing and their quality of life has improved by so much. So aside from my treatment experience, uh, we got to go on a cool city tour of Medellin on a helicopter. I think it was a 20 minute helicopter ride that we all have amazing footage from. Got to drag the CEO with us and pop his cherry on getting on a helicopter. And then the food we've experienced from well, not the first night because we got in so late, but every day since has been just phenomenal. We went to Colossal the one night. We had that private tasting at Mochi last night and night before. I don't even remember the name of the place, but it was some kind of fusion. Everything's been just amazing along the whole way. So the MRI process here is night and day difference compared to the States. They give you the disc at the end of it. They don't tell you the results. They want you to review it with the doctor, but you go home that day with all your discs. And then the next morning you're reviewing with the doctors here of no delay of, hey, this is what we're looking at. Here's the issues. And has it improved or has it gotten worse? And it's really nice to n not have the same experience as you have back home where you wait a week or two for the doctor to review everything. So I look really forward to this trip every year because now it's in my yearly routine of coming out here to get the golden treatment and really get those stem cells pumped into me to really you know, keep those gains going. And I've really stuck to the diet since my last visit I was here. I lost 65 pounds and I feel amazing overall. And I've really stuck to what the doctors recommended to really get that longevity out of the stem cells so I don't go back to degrading the quality of the stem cells in my body and really pushed it to that next level. I'll actually be stopping back in May, um, two months from now, with some friends that were like, hey, we wanted to be there with you. We don't wanna come alone. I was like, all right, I'll make the trip out and just hang out, maybe get an IV drip and experience some more Medellin since I won't be in treatment that week. So I'll have a little bit more free time. 